everybody, my name is Shai. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and today is part 4 of I Draw Your OCs. So thank you again to everyone who submitted your characters. Uh, today we have two more submissions to get through and I am actually pretty proud of how these pieces came out. So without further ado, let's get to the time lapses. Okay, so this first character belongs to at Yuki Peach and this is their OC Izumi. So Izumi is extremely good at swimming. Um, she's fun loving but also a bit sassy and she also works at a sushi place and protects it against Eggman and anything else that could harm it and apparently she especially loves koi fish so when I first saw this design a it was just she's she's so precious like look at her 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 big ears are just I love foxes like any type of fox so when I saw that she was a fennec fox I was just her design is so cute. I love it so much. And her colors are really like autumn-esque. But then there's also the addition of the koi fish, which I thought was really cool. So I was excited to incorporate that into this. So um, again, I follow the usual procedure, line art, then inking. And I've been trying this new technique where I add some hatching into the line art because I want to try and add more texture into my line work to make it more interesting on its own. So I've been trying that and I can gladly say that I'm very happy with it. Um, so as for the character design, I thought the addition of koi fish in her design was really cool and she has like, I don't know if they're like giant earrings or um, ornaments, but they look really cool and I had a lot of fun drawing them. This is actually my first time drawing koi fish, but I have seen them in real life and they're so pretty. Um, so I thought that was a really cool element to add into the, into uh, Yuki's design. It was very cool. So as usual, I go in with shading and I add some hatching to all the highlights. And then I always, always, always color my line art afterwards. I usually use a blue for all the white areas and then a darker color of whatever base is underneath. And I think it softens everything else up. I really like it. And here is Izumi the Fennec Fox. Thank you again to Yuki Peach for your submission and I hope you like how your OC came out. Okay, so moving along, we have our second submission from at Minty Mito. And this is Elena the Panda. She has enhanced leg strength and acrobatic skills. And she uses a special tablet attached to her arm to design weapons that can be holographically projected for temporary use. Um, so, I, on a quick note, I just want to say that I love this idea of like a holographic, um, sort of like sci-fi-esque feature. And the fact that it's powered by drawing and like an, it's an art-themed weapon I thought was really cool. So, Elena is creative and she is the mom friend type. She is slightly overbearing and worrisome but means well. She is a huge foodie, totally relatable, loves making and drinking tea, Generally tries to be non-violent unless absolutely necessary, especially to protect her loved ones. So, um, I just wanted to say that the combination of pink and green on Elena's design was such a joy to work with. It was so much fun. Um, and I also got in some braid practice because I don't draw characters with braids very often. So that was a really fun thing to experiment with. So I wanted to try and give her like an apple pencil, sort of. Um, I, the original reference sheet here, it's a little bit unclear what kind of pen it is, but I think the way I stylized it kind of ended up looking like an apple pencil, which I'm not exactly upset about. I kind of like the white contrast with the rest of the outfit. Um, and there's also this theme of, I think it's Sakura petals on her belt and also on the back of her vest, which I thought was super cute. Um, she's facing frontwards in this pose. I drew her facing more towards the front, so unfortunately we cannot see the back of the vest, but I made sure to incorporate the Sakura-themed shapes uh, around the canvas instead. And uh, yeah, here is Elena the Panda. Thank you so much for your submission, Minty, and I hope you like how she came out. And here are the finished pieces of Izumi the Fennec Fox and Elena the Panda. Thank you so much to Yuki Peach and Minty Mito for your submissions and I hope you like how the finished pieces came out. 
So with that said, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. Again, I will have the submission form down in the description if you would like the chance to submit or resubmit one of your own OCs. And with that said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time in the next video. Bye-bye!